tone. Tone, I just got done talking to the building inspector in there. You know, me and my brother-in-law, Ramon, we've been flipping these houses, right? He buys them, we do a little work on them, you know, put some drywall up, a little paint, and then he sells them, and then, you know, he cuts me in or whatever. So I'm in there today working, and I hear on the door, right? Somebody's knocking, it's a freaking building inspector. So I let him in, he's poking around. We got the repair replace permit, so it should be fine. But he starts looking at the drywall. It's the stuff that I was telling you about that I got out at, on Mannheim Road at Melrose Park from some guy in a box truck for four bucks a sheet. I couldn't pass it up. What could I do? We got this stuff up in three or four houses, okay? So building inspector, he tells me it's recalled, right? And I say, hey, can't you let it pass? Can't you grandfather it in? And he says, I ain't got no grandfather. And I said, yeah, I think you do. I think you got about 15 grandfathers and they're all named Benjamin Franklin. So it's taken care of itself, but I'm a little strapped for cash now. So I really appreciate you letting me read the ad here real quick on the channel okay skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes and users worldwide you could go on there and take all kinds of classes taught by all kinds of experts and teachers to advance your creative your technical your business skill set whatever you need on there for your personal growth i went on there i took gardening 101 with geraldine lavin and i learned how to propagate plants from seeds and cuttings and whatnot i found a lot of personal enrichment it was very peaceful the first thousand people to use our code get a free month of Skillshare. Okay, you, you, we can do it like this, right? Uh, hello and welcome to another episode of Crime Pays by Biden. It doesn't today. I come at you from the Sierra Madre Oriental. And you can see, I see how it's green on the right and beige on the, on the left. It's because all the storms, all that moisture comes from the east, from the Gulf Coast, hits that mountain range, dries out and creates a rain shadow. So it's very dry on the west slopes of the Sierra Madre Oriental, which is where we'll be filming today's episode. And it's where you get all the cool cactus diversity and all the cool cactus endemism like the ones i'm going to show you in today's video so let's check it out but first we're walking through a desert wash oh look at those bedding planes you see that ah oh, how long ago is that the floor of the ocean how many earthquakes did it take to get it dipped downward towards me like that how did it do that nice tacoma tacoma stands at a big noni ac granny garden plant god damn it look at it though you probably got a ton of cool shit growing in those little cracks and crevices in that rock too ah look at all these goddamn rocks washing out washing out of the mountains what is it coming out of the limestone beautiful blues huh what's uh what's a turquoise rock that comes out of uh out of uh Cretaceous marine sediments. I can't even talk. I shouldn't even fucking try. I'm so tired. Oh my god. Look, look, we got a sycamore, a platinus. Talk about basal angiosperm, a very old angiosperm family. Look at the velvety indumentum on the abaxial surface. Look at the top. A couple hairs on the top, not, not as many as down below though, where the, uh, the majority of the stomates are going to be, the majority of the stomata. And uh, look how big the leaves are. Not very big at all. They're small compared to some of the sycamores that get, you know, palm sized leaves uh, at higher latitudes pretty incredible growing here in the creek where there's uh, persistent water underground even during the dry season okay now as i uh, dangle dangerously on a precipice of this eroding rock wall composed of conglomerate you know a few hundred thousand if not millions of years worth of conglomerate washing out of those mountains over there beautiful sheer limestone cliff we're exposed to yet another very rare and heavily sought after cacti this is a uh, aztecium ritteri you could see beautiful geometric shape right there. These things grow slow as hell. And I also want you to notice you got the Selaginella, uh Lepidophila all over the rock wall. But uh, look at all the lichens and what this shit as well. All right. Holding that soil together. Because again, these are all just, this is just a bunch of rocks that have piled up, you know, uh, after a, every subsequent rainfall. It's basically just piled alluvium. And so they're being held together, that whole rock wall is being held together by the lichens. See, there's another uh, ST came up there. So these are, uh, oh, there's an old guy up there, pretty old. So these are, these are pretty sought after again, heavily poached. Uh, but, you know, due to the precarious nature of the habitat, I mean, look at this. I almost broke my ass. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get down. It's sketchy. You know, it's like that. I actually made it up to there, but then I got get a little too sketched out. And I uh, decided to turn back around. You got all kinds of thorny shrubs like this hectia to grab onto. 
should you fall, it'll rip your hands right open. There's a beautiful Aztecium hanging out right there. So uh, these, these lichens are extremely important in uh, germinating the seeds. When it gets wet, they hold that soil together and they act as a nice substrate, a nice little padding for those Aztecium seeds to germinate. The question I wanna know is how long ago was it that uh, this was the level of the creek? That this right here was the creek bed? Probably quite a while. You know, maybe a million years if that. Look, there's a little seedling coming up. Well, it's probably 20 years old, but that's a little seedling right there. You can see they're not germinating over there where there's, it's too rocky, there's not enough soil, there's not enough lichen. You do need the soil mixed in with the rack. And of course, uh, yeah, they just grow directly out. <coughs> they just grow directly out the rock wall, nice. I don't know any place where this species actually grows on flat ground. There's another one, see that? God, you know, we are, we're at like 2,500 feet now and it's pretty low for this latitude, so it is hot as balls. It's very hot. How deep, how deep into the uh, rock wall does that stem go? Oh, look at, look at my bubbly epidermal tissue. Look at all the ribs on the ribs. What do you got, like eight different ribs there and then you've got Kind of like uh, wrinkly warty patterns on the ribs themselves. And pink flowers when it does go off. Look at that. Tiny little shits. Tiny little shits. How old is that? More importantly, how am I going to get down? So associated plants are Hectia, Glomerata, Selaginella Lepidophila, Looks like we got Acacia rigidula right here. Well, now Vichelia rigidula, the black brush Acacia. And look up there, there's hundreds more plants up there, up top, if you can get up there. But you probably can't, because it's kind of sketchy. So I'm, I'm, I'm down a wash, but I'm still not all the way down. You could see, uh, hi Alan. Hi. See, we get like a 12 foot precipice right there. But there's actually an Aztecium, uh, I guess one of the seeds fell. You know, maybe back in the day there were more, uh, and then just uh, maybe they got hit by poachers. You know, see, there's a little guy right there. So maybe there were more at lower, lower elevations instead of up that sketchy slope. Uh, and then they just got plucked off. But there's a nice mammalaria. Look at that. Look into my perianth. Oh, yeah, look at the stigma. Look at those pollen grains all over there. Ooh, erratic. Oh, here's a rather large iris scene. Remember the spinach family, Amaranthaceae? There's those tiny flowers. Opposite branching, woolly. And look at that. It's just, just a giant dangling thing it's got it can have leaves but it also can drop them when it needs to you know in times of uh of drought and low moisture oh boy it is fucking hot and unpleasant out so a little ways down the wash and further up the hill you can still see them so they're they're abundant if the habitat's right and they're out of reach of poachers see that they're just blending in with the mud so you got this mud and you got the crypto games and the lichens and what the shit, there's another one right there. Look at it. Just oppressed against the, against the wall, against the rock wall. They do look, I'll be honest with you, they do look kind of drought stressed though. They kind of look like shit. Could probably use some rain. Look at that, you could see the root. That's about as big as they get. It's about as big as I've seen them in cultivation too. They grow extremely slow in cultivation. Often, often these uh, nerdy cactus guys got to graft them to something else. Look at it with the multiple heads, nice. Look at it. Look how many pups you got. Are those uh, seedlings or just uh, just offsets? That's a nice money shot. Put that on your put that on your inspirational calendar. Holy shit! The beautiful geometry. See, geometric patterns. Huh? You ever see that when you're on about five uh, five grams dried psilocybin, huh? Look at it, what a what a banger of a plant. How old? And how old is this this exposure? All these rocks just piled up, just thousands of years worth of alluvium, thousands of years worth of flash floods, and probably wetter times too, piled up right here at the base of this uh this cliff. Doesn't it put everything in context? Huh? Vast amounts of time. Think about all the dumb shit you worry about, you stress over. You know, everybody just playing into Mark Zuckerberg's conflict algor algorithm, getting worked up about stuff that 
doesn't really matter and that they have no control over anyway? Just, it drives engagement though, isn't that what they say? It drives engagement. Until you come out here and see Aztecium growing on a 50,000 year old uh, alluvial deposit. It's probably 500,000 year old alluvial deposit. And get a little bit of context for the bigger picture. And of course that rock there, it's, it's about 135 million years old. That was at the bottom of the ocean. Look at that, just like a bunch of different little geometric pies. God, they are, they're very pale though. Looks like they're getting scorched. That'll be fine. Maybe it'll be fine. Look at that. You got how many plants there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Lichen covering everything. Lichen acting as a nurse for the seedlings. I'm surprised the poachers haven't gotten these yet. Of course now, <laughs> maybe after this video they will. Who knows? I try to obscure locations, but it can be hard. Yeah, there's, there's dozens. I can't believe how many are. Oh, look at those old guys. Look at those old boys. Holy shit. About the size of a baseball. That's got to be 100 or 200 years old. Of course, there's no accurate way to date cacti. There's some seedlings right there. Look at it. The geometry is so beautiful. You know, I'm sure they're beautiful when they flower, too. Pink flowers, probably massive nectar source for the local insects. Look at the little Hectia blooming. He's going to be a prick one day. Real mean. Selaginella. Agave lechigia. What, what types of, what species of lichen? I bet you got quite a few different ones. God, the sun went behind the clouds. I thought I was going to drop. I felt like I was about to drop, you know. I felt like, uh. You get a little woozy. Oh, there's a dead guy. They got a hole in him. See how many? How many years old? Probably a few. You got him up there. Sometimes they blend in so perfectly too. Oh, who's that? Is that another Thelocactus or what the shit? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep showing you footage of the same the same species. It's so incredible. I mean, really, how many cacti? Well, I guess there's quite a few, but how many cacti have you seen that grow on vertical sheer rock walls, consisting of 130 million year old limestone? Their seedlings nursed by all the lichens and crypto cryptogams on the rock wall, but uh, never grow on uh, never grow horizontally. Ugh. Oh shit. Never grow horizontally on any flat ground. Look at that. Nothing but sheer evolutionary erotica. Evolutionary cactus erotica. You got the Hectia. You got the Nahuatlia hypoluca. That goddamn plant I'm always renting about. You got a species of Celtus, of Hackberry, Cannabaceae. And all the damn lichens, all the goddamn lichens. At this point, I'm just repeating myself. Actually, I've been doing that for like 20 minutes, I guess. Whatever the fuck. You're still watching it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Oh, see, at the base of this Gognani, you got an exceptionally healthy looking one. Look at it. Look how long he is. Ooh, how old is that? How old is that guy? Got a little seedling beneath him. You got another one up there. There's a Mammillaria again. So you got Mammillaria, Thelocactus, Hematocactus, and then of course, Aztecium. Oh, holy shit. God, that's a nice looking plant. All right, that's it, I'm finally done. I think I'm done. Oh wait, look at that. Look at all those up there. Oh my God. Look at it. You can see how they just blend in, too. God damn, I am getting cooked. It is fucking hot, man. It's that sun. Every time the sun goes behind the clouds, I breathe a sigh of relief. So look at it. You got all the habitat you need for them up there. Where the poachers can't get to them until they get drones or some shit. Maybe they will soon. Look at that beautiful mountain. Look at a beautiful slab of Cretaceous limestone. Anyways, that's all I got for you this afternoon. I'm fucking toasted. Uh, let's hope we don't get carjacked. 
on the way back south on this uh, sketchy one lane road. That's all I got for you today. Have a good rest of your afternoon. Go fuck yourself. Bye. Oh, look, you got brahias up there. You got palms. That's all for this evening. Have a good rest of your night. Go fuck yourself. Bye.